We've seen what Allen did in week one and week two. Now let's see what he and the Bills do when they travel home for the first time this season to face off against the Bengals. Let's begin with the play from the first quarter where the Bills are running a zone beater play where they isolate the middle linebacker. On this play, Allen has the choice between throwing to Beasley on the hitch route or throwing over the top to Zay Jones on the post route, all depending on what the linebacker chooses to cover. From the snap, Allen stares down the middle backer to see where he's going to play, and once he covers Beasley on the hitch route, he knows he's got Zay Jones over top. He then makes a nice strong throw while getting hit in the legs to hit Zay Jones over the middle in a tight window. Dealing with pressure was a common theme for Allen in this game, and on this play he does a good job of taking a couple steps back while still being able to get a strong throw off to Beasley for the short pass. You can see from the end zone cam, Allen knows the hit is coming, but he stays patient and waits for Beasley to get open so he can complete the short pass. This play here is one of the craziest 3 yard gains you'll ever see. Off the play action, Allen trips over Frank Gore, falls over, and drops the football. Then with two free Bengals rushers coming at him, he decides to pick up the ball, runs backward, throws across his body, and completes the ball to his tight end Sweeney. This play exemplifies Josh Allen's instincts and baller mentality, showing that no matter what happens, he's going to do everything that he can to make the best play possible. That aggressive mentality can sometimes get Allen in trouble too though. And in this game, most of the problems that Allen had were due to that. On this third and two play, Allen first misses the opportunity to hit his tight end short over the middle. Then after the pocket collapses around him, he rolls out to the right and drops back, drops back, drops back, and eventually has to throw it away. But he can't get it past the line of scrimmage, so this one ends up being an intentional grounding call. In a situation like this, Allen ends up taking the Bills out of field goal range because he wanted to hang onto the ball longer and wait for something to develop, when there was really nothing there and he should have just gotten rid of the ball sooner. This next play is a very similar situation where the pocket collapses around Allen early, he rolls out, drops back, and this time he actually tries to throw to one of his receivers, which turns out to be a really bad decision and this one's easily intercepted by the defense. This is a throw that never should have been made in the first place, and I'm sure Brian Dable gave him a good speech afterward about living to play another down, because this was just not a good decision. A part of Allen's game that really got to shine in Week 3, though, was his escapability in the pocket. And on this play, Allen does a good job of rolling out to his left side this time, and then does a good job of shedding a tackle, waiting for Knox to get open, and completing the pass to him on the sideline for an easy first down. Allen's athleticism is really on display here, as he makes three-time All-Pro Geno Atkins miss the sack. This plays another good example of Allen's escapability, as the pocket collapses around him early and he gets swallowed up, but he somehow manages to escape, and then he rolls out left and picks up the first down. It's Houdini plays that Allen makes like this that can get your team fired up and demoralize a defense. Even though Allen was pressured heavily this game and made some negative plays, the positive plays that he made definitely outweighed those, and he was even able to make a nice fourth quarter comeback with a little bit of help from one of his rookie tight ends.